Welcome back viewers, I'm Ashley Lynch and I'm Millie Carter and this is GNN. As some of you may have already heard, there have been many new changes to Guilford College. Guilford Dining Services as well as the Quakeria and the Grill have adjusted their service hours to better meet student needs. Guilford College also now has its very own garden growing on the north side of campus. The garden is also available for work-study opportunities. For students interested, contact career development. Unfortunately, the heat bus will no longer be a service here at Guilford. And last but not least, all traditional students should have received their Quaker cards due to the new door access system on campus. The new system includes access pads which will allow students to proceed into their residence halls more effectively. Along with the many new changes here on campus, 10 new faculty and staff have joined the Guilford community. While interviewing many of new staff and faculty, they were questioned about background and their perspectives on Guilford during their transition. An overwhelming sense of community was the communal response received. How well do students and their professors really communicate? To these new professors, ranging in departments from chemistry to peace and conflict studies, Guilford is really the community it says it is. We talk our talk, but we prove that we also walk our walk. So, stop by and meet the newest members of our community. New professors are only some of the people that bring new perspectives to our community. First years are now pretty well acquainted with Guilford's values and practices, but a few members of the sophomore, junior, and senior classes would like to share some advice. Hi, I'm Jonathan Shine, and my advice would be to join any clubs that you're interested in and get involved in campus activities. I'm Steven Matchlin, and uh, don't be afraid of the library. It's a great resource. I'm Courtney Morseberger, and I would recommend balancing time between your friends and school. My name is Sophie Candelaria, and my advice to freshmen is if you see RAs, it doesn't matter what you're doing, just run. Hi, I'm Casey. I'm a sophomore, and my advice to freshmen is to party all the time. <laughs> As these pieces of advice can help first years in their transition to college, an update on campus events can really get everyone up to date on their social fix. Ashley, anything interesting? Um, my name is Bo Young and I'm a junior this year. First and foremost, as an artist, I want to create a product that will appeal to not just one type of person, but everyone. And um, I think Concert-wise, when you're doing a show and everyone is involved, you know, obviously everyone is having a great time. And you don't want anyone to feel left out when listening to your music. So I just push this kind of feel-good attitude, universal music, you know, everyone having a good time. Parts of his music exemplify what we have as the spirit of the Guilford community. For example, <laughs> when he brings back the song Star Power, for those of you who will remember the group Super Team, they essentially took the spirit of Guilford in like in the best of it. When everyone is just going down by the lake, when everyone is just having fun, they took it and put it into words and put it to a beat. And that is what a lot of this music exemplifies. And so that's what you see when the crowd is jumping. You see everyone rocking out and vibing out to what they know is like you know, this Guilford community. I take what I learn and I put it in my music. Um, I basically use my artistry from the aspect of me. Like, I'm a college student by day, you know, rapper by night. And I think that's pretty interesting. So if you're interested in hearing, like, stories about what I do and how I make that happen, it's all in my music, you know? Um, and if you know me, my music is what you get. Like, I feel like I put myself into my art, so I'm not pretending to be something I'm not. I just really like music for the sake of music, and you will definitely see me around campus performing a lot more. Um, and that's about it. Like, my music is me.
featured artist Young Prince, along with Leia Gaskin Sudoku, and Brent Ring performed Friday, August 26th at the newly renovated Campus Community Center. Bo Young Prince is a 19-year-old Washington, Washington DC native who attends Guilford College. After the release of his new project, The Reverse Effect, Bo Young Prince has earned top slots on many blog sites such as Good Music, All Day, This Song Is Sick, Sunset in the Rearview, and over 45 other music sites, most notably in his collection of tracks that have appeared top 10 on Hype Machine. Bo has performed throughout the country at various colleges, bars, and clubs. In latest news, Young Prince has signed with the record label Pop-Up Shop Records. We truly do have great talent here at Guilford. Thanks, Ashley, and good luck to Bo in his future performances. And if you missed the concert, don't worry. Guilford's CAB and OSLE schedule has been published, including many other fun events. Interested in getting to know Greensboro? On September 13th, OSLE presents A Taste of Greensboro. Bingo is in the community center from 8.30 to 10 o'clock p.m. and a special Spanish Heritage Month celebration from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Founders Lawn on the 16th. Don't miss out on the adrenaline rush of the street hockey tournament on the 17th from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. on the Reagan Brown tennis courts. Do you need new stuff? CAB is hosting the Guilford Yard Sale and Stuff Swap all day on the 21st starting at 11 a.m. on Founders Lawn. Finally, singing your heart out with karaoke night on the 22nd in the Quaker Year from 9 to 11.30 p.m. While CAB and OSLE host community events, our own football season is ready to start. For sports news, the 15th annual Super Bowl was held Saturday, September 3rd at Grimsley High School's Jamison Stadium, which is Greensboro College's home field. Guilford collected cans and other non-perishable food items as part of the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl has become a friendly rivalry football game with nearby Greensboro College. Take a look at the team's goals for this upcoming season. Well, we're two games in. Um, I think for watching film on them a year ago, I think the biggest thing was there was a lack of effort, lack of discipline on the football field, and I think that our guys have taken that to the next level and are giving much more effort, much more discipline than what I had a chance to see on film from a year ago. Uh, and I think that's making a big impact and a big difference in this program already. Um, I think our attitude as a team is really good. We, uh, we've really come together this year and we're doing big things. Um, there's no hostility towards anybody on the team, and we all feel like brothers this year, and uh, that's what's really helped us out. Uh, well, I think just based upon what other people have told us um, from last year, I think we've made a dramatic turnaround, and I think that we're going to be a lot better than we were last year. Well, I think pride is something we talked about when I first got here as a sense of, you know, when you're proud of what you're doing, you're going to have a lot more pride. And when you start to have success in and, in and off the field, uh, whether it's classroom or in the community and on the field, people around here think it's something special. And all of a sudden, you can start to puff your chest out and feel good about being a part of something special. Um, I just want everyone to know that we're out there working hard for them, you know, to come out there and support us and have a good time at our games. And, uh, bring a championship to Guilford football. Um, I would like the Guilford community to know that we're not the same football team as before and that I would love for everyone to come out and support us. And that's all for this week's news. Thanks for tuning in. And stay tuned for the next broadcast. I'm Ashley Lynch. And I'm Millie Carter. And, and this, this is GNN. GNN.